So you can see here in this chart with the three sort of top pieces of Italy, the hat, the top, the thigh, if you will, or, or the hip, um, you can see here that um, the Della Venezia covers uh, both the Veneto and the Friuli region. And then the Alto Adige is in that northern area. So I'm going to, if you look at this for just a second, and then I'm going to back it up and show you again. So this was the Alto Adige, this is Friuli, and then this makes up the, the Della Venezia. So you can, in Italy, just like we have here in the U.S., you can have regions inside of regions, just like we have uh, Oakville sitting inside of Napa Valley. Okay, um, now in the Della Venezia, uh, the Colio region is uh, of particular interest, really considered one of the highest uh, qualities. And in the Trentino Alto Aldige, it is that Alto Aldige DOC that's really considered the one of the highest quality pro uh, producing regions. So here's our Pinot Grigio. And I'm wondering if a few of you on the other end of this line are a little surprised by the color of these grapes. Um, Pinot Grigio, the name literally means a little gray one. Um, so you can see, you think of Pinot Noir is a little brown one. That's a little, little blackberry. So you have Noir meaning black. Well, Grigio means gray. And so you see that these grapes are ever so slightly pink, ever so slightly gray. Um, and so we don't do skin contact with this wine. So the insides are clear. So we still get a clear white wine, but they are just ever so slightly pink. Pinot Grigio is the highest volume white wine in Italy, and it requires that cool, moderate climate. And um, getting back to our map, so you're up here in the in the Veneto and the Friuli, and you're right up here against the Alps, and you've got all this, you know, you're north, it's much cooler climate surrounded by uh, mountains, which gives it altitude, which gives it, for, you know, that cooler climate, snow melts, all of that stuff. So Pinot Grigio is known for high yields, uh, great because we can make a lot of it. We can make a lot of high quality Pinot Grigio. Um, it is an early harvester, which is good also because you are in a cooler climate. So you want to get your harvest in somewhat early. Generally, when you think of Pinot Grigio, you think of a crisp, white, refreshing, highly acidic wine. And so we usually ferment in stainless steel uh, that in a, at lower temperatures that helps retain that vibrancy. Um, and that zestiness, that sort of, um, that just that vibrant personality. And we generally do not put Pinot Grigio in oak. There's nothing in oak that really gives it much benefit. There's, I'm sure, a few higher end examples, but um, it's a wine really meant to be lively and fresh.